Interstellar space begins where the sun's influence fades and the solar wind finally yields to the raw plasma of the Milky Way. Since 2017 we have confirmed just three visitors from that vast realm, the puzzling Oumuamua, Herald of Surprises, Volatile Comet Borisov, and now the outsized newcomer 3, I Atlas. Each object is a priceless sample return mission delivered for free by nature, letting us probe chemistry, structure and age far beyond the planets. Tonight we collect every solid fact astronomers have pieced together about this latest cosmic ambassador. Beyond the heliopause, our interstellar visitors. The solar system's frontier is the heliopause, a shifting magnetic shell standing roughly 18 billion kilometers from the sun. When Voyager 1 pierced that frontier in 2012, its plasma detector confirmed the long-predicted transition into interstellar space, densities jumped, solar origin particles vanished, and cosmic ray counts spiked. Since then, terrestrial telescopes have reverse experienced the same crossing by spotting travelers arriving from the galaxy's dark sea. The odds are daunting. Dynamical models suggest only a few hundred meter scale bodies wander through the inner solar system each century. Yet modern wide field surveys and continuous sky patrols have already netted three confirmed interstellar objects in just eight years. Their hyperbolic speeds, inbound directions, and inability to be captured by solar gravity reveal origins that lie light years away. Each new detection is therefore a planetary science windfall, a primitive shard of another star's debris disk, altered by eons of irradiation and micrometeoroid pummeling, finally falling within reach of Earth's spectrographs. As instrumental sensitivity grows, researchers expect a steady trickle of similar emissaries, gradually transforming Exotica into a statistically rich field of comparative planetology. The third visitor, 3i slash ATLAS Discovery. On June 2025, the twin Schmidt telescopes of the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System swept across the pre-dawn sky and registered an object moving too fast to be bound to the sun. Alert messages flashed from Hawaii to South Africa and onto the Minor Planet Center, where the trajectory was confirmed within hours. Principal investigator Dr. Larry Deneau announced the team had netted three Y Atlas, humanity's third verified interstellar wanderer. Early photometry implied a remarkable diameter between 10 and 20 kilometers, at least an order of magnitude larger than Oumuamua. That sheer size promised ample reflected sunlight for spectroscopy galvanizing observatories on five continents to obtain time-critical data. Infrared spectra hinted at complex organics, millimeter wave receivers searched for exotic volatiles, radar attempted shape reconstruction when geometry allowed. The discovery also demonstrated how automated pipelines, artificial intelligence vetting and instantaneous worldwide coordination can turn a few faint pixels into an unprecedented international campaign within a single rotation of Earth. Three. Why Atlas thus became both a scientific target and a systems engineering triumph, showing that planetary defense infrastructure doubles as an accidental interstellar object early warning net. A hyperbolic journey at 58 kilometers. Trajectory solutions from JPL's Horizon system reveal three I Atlas, racing along a hyperbolic trajectory with an inbound heliocentric speed of 58 kilometers per second. Calculations by Dr. Davide Farnokia show the path threads the orbits of Mars and Jupiter before the object slingshots back toward the galactic northwest, never to return. That excess velocity, nearly three times Earth's orbital speed, guarantees the visitor is unbound. No realistic gravitational interaction could capture it. Dynamical backtracing suggests 3Y Atlas last crossed the galactic plane 30 million years ago and may have originated near the Carina Sagittarius spiral arm though stellar encounter uncertainties are large. During its brief stay it will feel weak but measurable tugs from planetary masses, allowing researchers to test n-body propagation codes under extreme boundary conditions. The rapid passage also forces astronomers into a sprint, every observing window must be filled, sometimes with instruments never before aimed at the same target in a single night. Lessons learned from these coordination drills will feed directly into mission concepts such as ESA's Comet Interceptor, designed to launch quickly toward the next unpredictable celestial visitor. Brightness, Rotation, and the 29-Hour Cycle Time series photometry from the Nordic Optical Telescope reveals these quasi-periodic brightness swings of about 9 tenths of a magnitude. This maps onto a rotation period of, well, around 29 hours. 
data from the European Southern Observatory confirm an irregular likely elongated body, its long axis could exceed 9 kilometers, which is quite something. Now if we invert the light curve, it suggests an axis ratio of approximately 3 to 1. This is comparable to Oumuamua's extreme proportions but on a much grander scale. The stability of this amplitude argues against the idea of loose rubble. Instead it seems that 3i slash Atlas might possess a cohesive monolithic core. This core is likely overlain by mantling regolith that accumulated during its galactic journey. Surface scattering models propose alternating patches of dark carbonized crust and brighter, possibly icy, facets. These rotate into sunlight, driving the observed flux pattern. Continued monitoring aims to detect YORP-induced spin-up or subtle precession. These phenomena could reveal internal density gradients. Polarimetric measurements planned for perihelion will test whether charged particle implantation or interstellar UV processing has glassified surface grains, a state never observed on indigenous comets. So, every rotational cycle opens a time-lapse window onto geological processes operating far beyond the reach of any spacecraft. Coma, tail and cometary activity. Solar heating at 1.5 astronomical units would normally trigger vigorous sublimation in an ice-rich nucleus. Yet, the Spitzer Space Telescope detected only a whisper of carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Lead investigator Dr. Colin Snodgrass suggests that cosmic ray gardening over millions of years may have sintered three i slash atlases upper meters into an insulating crust. This crust throttles volatile escape. Ground-based narrowband filters isolate a tenuous cyanogen halo, but production rates are nearly two orders of magnitude below those of Comet Borisov at a comparable distance. Radar attempts from Goldstone found no large dust grains, which is consistent with a surface depleted in friable material. The resulting weak coma and filamentary tail defy classical comet models. This suggests either an unusual primordial composition or extreme evolutionary processing. Should deeper layers ever fracture, a sudden jet could alter the trajectory. This would offer a real-time test of non-gravitational forces on an interstellar scale. Monitoring continues around the clock because even a modest outburst would provide precious gas for isotopic assays. This could potentially distinguish whether the body formed around a metal-poor population 2 star or within a young planet-forming disk more like our own nebular cradle. Oumuamua vs. Borisov vs. 3i slash Atlas Comparative planetology now has three data points beyond the heliopause. Oumuamua, flagged in 2017, was a cigar-shaped 200-meter object. It had perplexing non-gravitational acceleration but no detectable gas. Borisov erupted in 2019 with classical dust jets rich in carbon monoxide and hydrogen cyanide. It behaved like a solar system comet transplanted intact. In contrast, 3i slash Atlas is 10 times larger than Oumuamua. It shows Borisov-style composition signatures only faintly and rotates slowly. Together, they outline a spectrum of possibilities. Dormant shard, pristine comet, and massive, highly processed giant. Spectral slopes vary from Oumuamua's red, organic-rich hue to Borisov's more neutral tones. 3i slash Atlas sits in between, pointing to mixed ice rock interiors masked by millennia of irradiation. Dynamically, all three arrived on different galactic vectors, indicating no shared parent system. The trio's collective diversity is reshaping models of planetesimal ejection. This implies that every maturing planetary system may fling out thousands of distinct fragments, icy, rocky, or hybrid, into interstellar exile. Future detections by Rubin Observatory will determine whether our current sample is typical or a statistical fluke driven by small number bias and selection effects. A 3 billion 11-year-old traveler. Isotope ratio modeling and cosmic ray exposure calculations you know, bracket 3 I Atlas's formation epoch between 3 and 11 billion years, actually predating the Sun at the upper bound. High-energy proton bombardment gradually converts surface ice to complex refractory organics, which leads to the dark, reddish spectra seen in long-aged Kuiper Belt objects, and, well, similar signatures adorn our visitor. Laboratory analogs produced under accelerator beams match the object's infrared absorption bands, supporting an ancient surface residency in the galactic field. Queen's University Belfast researcher Dr. Alan Fitzsimmons notes anomalously low crystalline ice features, implying the body spent little time near its natal star before ejection. 
Over giga years, random supernova shocks, molecular cloud passages and gravitational nudges from passing stars sculpted its current orbit, effectively sandblasting volatile layers while leaving mineral matrices intact. Each detected molecule therefore archives conditions from epochs otherwise inaccessible to observation. Studying such relics refines timelines for disk evolution, migration and dynamical instability in alien solar systems. With only three interstellar samples so far, every additional chemical clue counts exponentially toward mapping the history of matter across the Milky Way. October 30th, Perihelion and Beyond on October 30, 2025, three I/S Atlas skimmed within just over one astronomical unit of the Sun, a geometry that placed it high in the northern skies. The James Webb Space Telescope devoted emergency director's discretionary time to obtain mid-infrared spectra, capturing silicate emission features rarely obtainable for interstellar bodies. Coordinated campaigns linked Subaru's visible light spectrograph, ALMA's submillimeter receivers, and amateur CCD networks into a single global array. The perihelion distance of 1.1 astronomical units allowed measurement of thermal inertia by tracking flux changes over the 29-hour rotation, constraining surface conductivity and porosity. Lead organizer Dr. Casey Lisi reports negligible change in gas production rates pre- and post-perihelion, bolstering the processed crust hypothesis. Hubble imaging after the closest approach detected a faint meteoroid trail, suggesting low-level dust loss perhaps triggered by microfractures. Precise astrometry during solar conjunction refined mass estimates via non-gravitational drift constraints, yielding a bulk density around 1.8 grams per cubic centimeter, denser than comet nuclei but lighter than stony asteroids. As 3i slash Atlas recedes, radar pings and thermal mapping will continue until signal-to-noise evaporates, freezing an irreplaceable dataset for decades of post-mission analysis. Future Observations and Scientific Opportunities The forthcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory promises to transform fleeting luck into routine science, with its legacy survey of space and time projected to discover dozens annually of interstellar objects as faint as 24th magnitude. Pipeline architect Dr. Michelle Bannister is configuring machine learning classifiers to flag hyperbolic motion within hours, enabling rapid response spectroscopic triage. Complementary radio searches at FAST and Meerkat will probe for OH masers produced when unprocessed ices meet sunlight, while ESA's proposed comet interceptor could be retargeted to chase the next sizable wanderer. Astrodynamicists are refining solar sail trajectories capable of five astronomical units per year departures potentially intercepting outbound objects for close-up imaging or sample capture. Coupled with isotope microanalysis, such missions would revolutionize understanding of galactic chemical gradients, delivering ground truth unattainable by remote sensing alone. Moreover, interstellar grains embedded in Earth's atmosphere, first cataloged by NASA's Stardust mission, could be chemically matched to parent bodies like 3i slash Atlas linking macroscopic dynamics with microscopic composition. These interdisciplinary strategies will crystallize a new subfield, galactic small body science uniting astronomy, planetary geology, and heliophysics under a single question. How does matter move, evolve, and mingle across star systems? Conclusion and Cosmic Perspectives in a single decade, humanity has advanced from zero confirmed extrasolar planetesimals to detailed dossiers on three, culminating in the colossal Robert Warrick discovery lineage that now includes three I slash Atlas. Each arrival widens our chemical dictionary, tests dynamical models and reminds us the solar system is porous, not isolated. The study of interstellar visitors transforms accidental alignments into deliberate natural experiments revealing chemical signatures forged under alien suns. Ultimately, these bodies invite a profound, humbling realization. Planet formation, collision, and ejection are universal, scattering shards of distant worlds throughout the galaxy. As surveys grow sharper and propulsion methods bolder, future scientists will map these shards into a web of shared origins, dissolving the parochial notion that samples must be fetched by billion-dollar probes. Instead, the galaxy occasionally mails postcards in the form of ancient rocks, carrying isotopic clues and perhaps organic seeds. Harvesting their stories will redefine planetary science from a solar system discipline into a truly galactic understanding, linking every world, seen or unseen, into a dynamic ever-exchanging community of matter.
3i slash Atlas is already dimming, yet its data trove will inspire research for years. Whether colossal comet, irradiated asteroid or something even stranger, it confirms our cosmos is alive with wanderers older than Earth itself. Which mystery intrigues you most? Its muted coma, ancient chemistry or breakneck speed? Let us know in the comments. Like, share and subscribe to Psy and Y for more journeys beyond the heliopause. Until next time keep looking up and stay curious.